Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we'll study about a very important organic reagent, Grignard reagent. We'll study about the preparation of this reagent and almost all the reactions of the reagent. Now this is a very very important reagent because it has immense use in the reactions in conversion of one functional group to another. Throughout the course, we will see that when we'll study the preparation of different functional groups, we'll use this reagent to prepare those functional groups. And uh, this is one of the reagents which can be used to prepare different kind of functional groups from any kind of functional group. So it's worth studying before we start formally start the reactions and the preparations of different functional groups. Grignard reagent is prepared from a alkyl halide. This X can be Cl, Br, and I. Generally, we don't take fluorine because the reaction with fluorine is violent. And fluorine forms a strong bond with R. So it's difficult for a magnesium to insert between R and X as it does to prepare Grignard reagent. Now, to prepare Grignard reagent, we take alkyl halide. We add a magnesium metal into it. The solvent, of course, will not be a polar protic solvent because magnesium being a very active metal will react with polar protic solvent instead of Rx. So generally, we take uh, ether as solvent. Since ether does not have any hydrogen attached to more electronegative atom like oxygen, so magnesium do not have any reaction with ether. So ether is a suitable solvent whenever we use an active metal. Magnesium loses electron. Magnesium is a di forms a divalent ion releasing two electrons and these two electrons are gained by the antibonding of R. So what happens is the bonding of this R has a corresponding antibonding just behind this bonding orbital as we have seen earlier. And these two electrons are gained by this antibonding orbital where R gains electron into the antibonding it has to lose its electron from the bonding as we already know in the previous lectures so what happens is R leaves Rx as Rx X minus and after when R gains electron it forms R minus and X minus and these two are in sort of ionic bonding attached with magnesium plus 2 and here we have the reagent Grignard reagent now the point to be noted is this X minus is very stable because halogens being more electronegative and bigger in size negative charge on them are very stable the charge density on X minus is very less so X minus is stable and that is the reason why HCl, HBr and HI are strong acids because corresponding XCL minus, Br minus and I minus are very stable conjugate bases. This magnesium plus 2 enjoys a noble gas configuration of neon. So magnesium plus 2 again will be unreactive. It will be inert towards reaction. So magnesium plus 2 and this halide ion will not be participating in the reaction. There will be mostly be expectator ion in the reaction. This R minus is going to react and this R minus is going to react hard because the negative charge on this R minus is on carbon carbon being least electronegative and carbon being small in size by no way is capable enough to hold this negative charge look negative charge is stable when the atom is electronegative like chlorine, oxygen, fluorine, nitrogen or the size is bigger like bromide ion, like iodide ion, like sulfide ion both ways the charge is stable on the atom when the charge is on carbon, carbon is neither electronegative nor it is bigger in size. Carbon belongs to a second period of periodic table. So negative charge on carbon is not stable. Being unstable, it is highly reactive. So Grignard reagent would be a very, very reactive reagent and it will show reaction with all kinds of functional groups. And from here, let's see the reactions of Grignard reagent.
Now the first and the most common and the most fast reaction of Wigner reagent will be reaction with active hydrogen. Active hydrogen is the hydrogen which is active for reaction. Now that means that it will react very fast. Now anything reacts very fast when the formed product is stable. Now hydrogen will react very fast when after hydrogen is removed the formed conjugate base is stable. Now let's, let's let's take an example of alcohol. In, the, in alcohol, hydrogen is attached with attached with oxygen. When someone abstracts hydrogen as H plus, the negative charge will come on oxygen. Negative charge on oxygen is fairly stable because oxygen is the second most electronegative element in the periodic table. So generally, those hydrogens are stable. After removal of the hydrogen, if the conjugate base is stable, now that stability can be because of electronegativity or because of resonance. So, compounds having hydrogen attached with more electronegative atom or where the conjugate base is resonance stabilized, they are active for hydrogen uh, for reaction. They 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 are active for reaction. They react very fast. So uh, the 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 first kind of reaction of Grignard reagent will be these with these active hydrogens. Now, as we have talked earlier, that acid-base reaction is the fastest reaction. The reason being the bond of hydrogen is weak, so it is abstracted very fast. So acid-base reaction will be faster than substitution, will be faster than elimination, will be faster than any other reactions. So what happens is when you have R minus for Grignard reagent will be using R minus because effectively R minus is the reactive part of Grignard reagent. So most of the time we'll use R minus for Grignard reagent. On we may also write it as like RMGX. Now what this R minus does is the problem of Grignard reagent is Grignard reagent has a negative charge on carbon, and carbon by no way is capable of holding that negative charge. So it reacts very fast. So it has to dislodge its negative charge. It has to get rid of its negative charge. The only two way to get rid of its negative charge is to form a bond with electro electron deficient atom like H plus, or to put its electron into the empty orbital or empty bonding orbital or anti bonding orbital of some other atom. These are the only two way to get rid of the electron for any atom. Now here because of electronegativity difference most of the electron will be shifted towards this electronegative oxygen and hydrogen will have certain amount of electron deficiency because of this electron deficiency this hydrogen has a huge tendency to gain electron from some outer source and here we have a very good electron donor so uh, this R- minus will start to form a bond with this hydrogen but this hydrogen is not deficient of one complete electron this hydrogen is deficient of only s del plus so in order to gain one complete electron from R hydrogen have to break this bond so we show it like this like as if R- minus is abstracting hydrogen from this substrate and R- minus will form a bond with S plus hydrogen will leave alcohol leaving its electron into the orbital of oxygen and we will have RO- minus when H plus will leave the alcohol and Grignard reagent will form a bond with hydrogen so this R- minus and this H plus will form a bond forming RH that will result us in alcohol this will be the common reaction for all kind of substrate with ha have active hydrogen be it water be it ammonia be it carboxylic acids be it amide be it any other substrate having active hydrogen because R- minus need to form a bond with H plus and this ab abstraction can begin only when this hydrogen has a kind of deficiency for that hydrogen is ready to accept the electron of this R- minus for that hydrogen must have a partial positive charge on its on its head and for that hydrogen must be attached to an electronegative atom to have this partial positive charge for that reason the hydrogen attached with electronegative atoms are called active hydrogen so when Grignard reagent is reacted with active hydrogen Grignard reagent forms RH bond forming the alkene now moisture that means water have active hydrogen because in water hydrogen is attached with oxygen so Grignard reagent cannot be kept in open 
or in presence of moisture because Grignard reagent will very quickly react with this hydrogen which is attached to more electronegative atom that means oxygen. Now Grignard reagent will react with all these kinds of molecules whether water, ammonia, carboxylic acid, amine or any kind of acid will always result in RH bond will always result in formation of an alkene Now from here after we will see many kind of reactions of Grignard reagent sometime it will have a nucleophilic attack sometime it will have elimination sometime it will have substitution now whenever we will be given a substrate and this Grignard reagent we will have to ponder over what kind of reaction will go on now here on we will learn this and bear this in mind as long, uh, as long you study organic chemistry acid base reaction will be the fastest reaction whenever you have option between substitution, elimination and acid base reaction the first thing that you will do is acid base reaction because acid base reaction is a fast reaction because in acid base reaction you have to break a bond of hydrogen and the bond of hydrogen is a weak bond because hydrogen in its nucleus has only one proton and that one proton offers very little attraction to the bonded pair so the bond is weak so it is easy to break so the reaction is fast in fact acid base reaction is very fast so if you have an option in a substrate where you can do nucleophilic attack and acid base reaction both in that case Grignard reagent the first molecule of Grignard reagent will show acid base reaction after that if you have more over left then you may have nucleophilic substitution or any other reaction so bearing this in mind that acid base reaction is fast reaction so whenever you initiate a reaction always you have to think if there is a possibility of acid base reaction always will have an acid-base reaction prior to any other reactions.